Yeah, well this year I'm doing kind of more of a science based subject. I'm doing a lot of my chemistry, physics and math methods. And I included vet engineering in because I find it really good to expand my knowledge a little more because I'm looking at like the elements and stuff and then I'm able to implement that into my engineering. Well I went out to McCulloch's Hydraulic Engineering out at Bendigo and it was really good to go out there because they have their engineering workshops so you can do your fabrication, your hydraulic fitment and your fitting and turning. Oh, well it kind of gave me a lot of secrets to the trade I guess so it was a lot of, I wasn't cutting corners but I made it a stuff a lot quicker and then I improved my knowledge so I got to work on a lathe because not everyone has a lathe sitting around at home. So I was able to go out to McCulloch's already with that knowledge on how to use a lathe, which was good. And yeah, I got to improve my welding a little here before I went, so I was going out there already straight onto the job. I plan to get an apprenticeship wherever I can to do a fabrication course. It's really great to see students come in here with a limited knowledge of what they might do in engineering and see them develop skills over the time they're here. And it's really gratifying to see them grow as people while they develop those skills and you feel really good that you've contributed to their future by equipping them with some skills they might use in industry. Halfway through year 11, oh, I come here just on work placement, um, just for the week, really enjoyed that, got along with everyone really well. Um, then I was going to finish up year 11, not bother doing year 12 and apply and start my apprenticeship here. And then during the year I started doing a bit more work here on my school holidays and whatnot. And then struck a deal with the boss. If I finish year 12, put my marks up a bit, then guaranteed apprenticeship uh, at the end of year 12. So yeah, finished year 12 off, got the marks, did the VCE and all the rest and started my apprenticeship. Yeah, here I am. I was studying vet engineering at Bendigo Senior and my teacher Stuart Hamilton sort of encouraged me and guided me to apply for an apprenticeship as a fitter, which is what I wanted to do. Yeah, when uh, the young guys come through from um, Bendigo Senior, they've, um, with the new training facility they've obviously got up there, they've got a, a lot of experience. You can tell the kids that come from a background in the, the metal fab type thing. Um, we're able to put them on some of the jobs here in the shop and uh, yeah, they, they just pick it up so quickly and um, yeah, it's great to work with those kids. We've got a lot of the younger guys that come and do a week experience with us. Um, they end up being apprentices here at um, uh, Hoffman Bendigo. 20 years ago, yeah, I uh, attended Bendigo Senior and done the metals um, program up there at the time, uh, metal fabrication. And then, uh, yeah, left there and got an apprenticeship and yeah, come from, through the but uh, self with experience, yeah, it's been a great, uh, well, virtually got me into the trade, Bendigo Senior, yeah. Here at Bendigo Animal Hospital, we have a wonderful association with Bendigo Senior. We have a lot of students come through from the school. We're happy to take um, students from the school. They're usually quite mature. Uh, they're pretty well switched on. Uh, they can do anything that is asked of them and we enjoy having the students here. So currently I'm studying BC Biology, Chemistry, English Language, Maths Methods and a VET subject which is Animal Studies. I did three days work experience at the Bendigo Animal Hospital in Bendigo and it was amazing. I got to experience firsthand the kind of equipment that they used and the techniques that they used. I got to chat to some of the vets to talk to them about the career pathways that they took to achieve their goals. After I graduate from Bendigo Senior, I hope to be studying a veterinary course or a plain equine science course and they will lead me into the career of veterinary or dealing with horses or animals.